Good morning, friends. I am Nalnakshi Swami, welcoming to my channel, Smart Index Edge. I am introducing to you an indicator named Rolling Weighted Volume Weighted Moving Average. This is this. Rolling R W V W M A. Yes, you heard it right. It is rolling. You might have already familiar with the volume weighted average price, that is VWAP. The difference between this rolling weighted volume weighted moving average between the volume weight VWAP is that VWAP only calculates for the entire day's data. Instead of that, this rolling average price calculates the rolling average price for the certain window. For example, you are trading in the 15 minutes. It gives you all the rolling true average price of the stock in that time frame, not the whole thing. So that is the advantage. It also uses a rolling window which means it looks at only the most recent days or recent hours or recent 15 minutes and updates the new data as it comes in. So you are always working with the freshest information. That helps you as a guideline where the stock is positioned and where the stock price is, whether it is below the rolling RW, VW, MA, or whether it is up. If it is, if the stock price is above the rolling weighted average, moving average price, then there is momentum in the stock. So, how it works? Focus on important prices. If the stock price was at rupees 10, 100, but only few shares were traded, it is less important. Another price, if the price was at 105 and lot of shares were traded, it is more important. So RWVWMA gives more weight to the rupees 105 price because lots of people traded at that level. Okay. It only looks at the recent data. It doesn't use all the past data. VWAP will go for the past data. So you will not get a day's data. Instead of that, you are, it picks up rolling period like the last 10 days or 20 minutes. As time moves forward, the old, oldest data gets dropped and new data gets added, keeping the average up to date. So it helps you for the intraday trade. This is most relevant for the intraday trading combined with the T V. T VAP, time-wise weighted average price. Then your entry and trade direction, everything becomes simple. It combines volume and price. For each point in the rolling period, that means for each 15 minute candle, suppose if you are on the 15 minute time frame, for each 15 minute candle, it multiplies by the price, multiplies the price by the trading volume. This gives you the weighted price. So then add up all the weighted prices and divide by, it by the total volume to find the average price. This has been, this is how it has been calculated. For example, multiply price into volume for each day. Instead of each day, you can go for each 15 minutes candle. So it is an example how it is calculated. 
day 1 100 into 200 this is the volume times 200 times you are getting the volume this is an example how it can suppose if the volume is this is giving weightage and all those things okay this is not aligned properly but you understand what it is happening see add up the volumes it adds up the volumes this is volume adding this is price adding and divide the total weighted average price by the total rw vw that is rolling weighted volume weighted average price so it gives you finally for these five days the rolling weighted average price, volume weighted average price to be 102.4. <clears throat> okay. See, for example, at the 15 minute candle, some the price is around, say, for in uh, Nifty, uh, around uh, 23,000, uh, 23,400 or 500, it gives the, it multiplies by the volume and divides so it multiplies by the volume and gives a value and next 15 minute candle it multiplies by the price with the volume and everything added up and divides it that's how the calculation is don't go complicated with the calculation and all those things but you understand that it gives totally average price of the volume with the price and it rolls. So the, that will be a recent data you will be getting in this. Why it is useful? Realistic average. You are getting a realistic average. It reflects the average price based on the where the most of the trading happened, not just where prices moved randomly. That is the thing. You will get a realistic average and it plots on the chart. Focus on fresh data. By using a rolling window, you only consider the most relevant recent prices and volumes. So you need only recent volumes. If you are trading in the intraday time frame, you need recent data, recent data, recent guidelines for your trade. Okay. <clears throat> That's why we are going to use this rolling weighted rolling weighted volume weighted moving average. It is a bit like a tongue twister. So, but you you know this is the average. I mean, this is the indicator which has been introduced newly into the trading view. Combining with the TVAC and this indicator rolling VVAC, we can construct a strategy which can be useful combining this. So in my next video, I'm going to, oh, let me take it to, let, let me take it to the chart, okay. Huh. I will, uh, if you go to the indicator section, I am on the nifty chart. If you go to the indicators section, if you type rolling, you will get rolling VWAP. Okay. You can go to the uh, read more section here. This is the classic VWAP that is uh, in gray color and rolling wrap in the v wrap in the yellow color so this indicator displays a rolling volume weighted average price contrary contrary to v wrap indicators so you can see the difference of the v wrap and the rolling window it, here Rolling VWAP, it is combining all the data and it is giving the uh, weighted average price. Rolling VWAP. So it will, but here 
you cannot make any decision. The price is overing, uh, I mean, whipsawing um, over and down in the classic VWAP. It will not give you a real picture. In this case, in this uh, instance, in this example, the price is below rolling V, I mean, rolling VWAP. Okay. So let us go to the chart again. Let me. I'm not able to do that. Yeah. So you can, I'm going back and you can apply rolling VWAP. I have applied rolling VWAP into this indicator section. I am getting where is the average price combined with the volume. Combined with the volume. And also if I enable the time-wise weighted average price, you can clearly see that rolling weighted volume average price is down. Let us go to the one example for the for any other stock for a momentum if you want to buy anything. Let me type the I mean, uh, that was the bullish stock. For example, it was a Naveen Florin, I believe. Yesterday's Naveen so So you can see rolling weighted average price R V W A P is below the T VAP. I mean T VAP. That means time wise weighted average price is above the rolling volume weighted average price in the previous two days itself indicating some sort of accumulation was taking in this place. Suppose if you would have identified this, this price action with the rolling VWAP, you could have taken position a day before itself. And you can see the how the momentum built up. See, price moved above the RV, RVWAP rolling volume weighted average price, then there was a huge momentum in this stock. That's why it has increased. I think it has uh, increased more than 14 percentage. 14 percentage increase happens only once in a month. If you going for a swing trade or an investment, 14 percentage of movement you will get on once in a month. Suppose if you are identifying this in advance, you can have a benefit in that. And also you can use it for your swing trade. This is a swing trade. You can see how the price making higher highs. In this section, you can see higher highs. And with the complementing with the uh, rolling weighted average price and it is moving higher. You could have taken position in the stock two days before itself. Okay. Here you can see the price action, the price was coming down. I'm on the daily time frame. Price was coming down. There was shift in the momentum in this candle. Shift in the momentum in this candle, you can see clearly, I'll zoom it out, clearly the weighted average price, TVAP, is crossing above the rolling weighted average price. Okay, so isn't it beautiful? So you can locate the, you can make your own strategy or screener for this. I don't know for the screener, whether it is updated in the screener section in charting or anything. If you find this, you can do that for your um, stock selection also. Thank you very much, friends. 
I am I am bringing up with the strategy with the TWAP as well as the rolling weighted average price. In an intraday, we can explore it. Please tune to the, my video channel and support me and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Nalnakshi Swami signing off.